Nick at Night, an outdated concept, stale programming, and obnoxious scheduling. Why can't it just die already? Nick at Night is the evening programming block on Nickelodeon, which mainly exists to air old sitcoms. The channel's definition of old has changed over the years, but the purpose has stayed the same. For clarity, I'm talking about the US block. It's not to be confused with the UK block with the same name, which was essentially the British version of Teen Nick. I don't know why they didn't just launch a UK version of Teen Nick, but that's not the point. Nick at Night has a long and illustrious history because its beginnings go back to the early days of Nickelodeon itself. When the then owners of a and &E announced that the channel would move to its own 24-hour channel space in January 1985, instead of extending to 24-hour operation themselves, though they did so temporarily, Nick decided to develop programming for their new evening and late night hours. Nick at Night debuted on July 1st that year at 8pm Eastern, aiming to be the first oldies TV network. Initially, the block ran from 8pm to 6am nightly, offering a mix of mainly sitcoms and movies, such content generally being between 5 and 25 years old at the time of its airing on the block, a flowing time frame still stuck to these days. Over the following decade or so, the concept proved popular enough that it would be expanded into its own channel, TV Land, in 1996. That channel initially aired a selection of series in the 60s to the 80s, somewhat complex the block at the time. Nowadays, Nick at Night's once revolutionary format is hardly worth a mention. The original concept of Nick at Night, along with much of the programming it used to air, has now been passed on to streaming services and digital multicast networks like MeTV and Antenna TV. Due to this and the block's shifting content scope, Nick at Night nowadays airs more recent series from the 90s to the mid-2010s. Currently, only five series comprise the entire Nick at Night schedule. The shows it airs aren't terribly distinct to build a brand around anyway, so this doesn't help that much. It also doesn't help that overall they really only pick from maybe seven or eight shows to fill the schedule with. One or two of them might leave a bit, but eventually they'll come back. Like Falaus, for instance. Nick at Night is also becoming increasingly similar to its once spin-off TV Land, at least in primetime. While TV Land still airs classic programming in daytime, over the past 10 years its primetime programming has shifted to include more recent series like Everybody Loves Raymond and The New Adventures of Old Christine, and even original content. Much of it wouldn't be out of place on Nick at Night, which is airing similar shows at the same time elsewhere in the TV listings. And speaking of timing, Nick at Night is one of the most obnoxiously scheduled programming blocks around, running from 8pm to 7am most nights of the week. While the borough between Nick and Nick at Night isn't as hard as the one between Cartoon Network and Adult Swim, as the two share the 8pm hour as needed and Nick at Night starts later on Saturday nights, given what content the block airs, it just doesn't need 11 hours a night. Nick at Night's off-the-clock scheduling to stuff in a half hour of extra ads each night, while not unusual amongst Viacom's adult leading networks, including MTV, VH1, and TV Land, doesn't help Nick at Night's case here. Nick at Night simply doesn't need all that airtime. It could start later and end earlier than it does. It should start later and especially end earlier than it does. Kids are already out the door by 7 a.m. in some places. They want their SpongeBob filled with their cereal, not the 300 repeat of George Lopez. It seems that things are changing though. While George Lopez still aired at 6 a.m. every weekday morning until it was booted off the schedule recently, after nearly 12 years on the lineup, on weekends, SpongeBob airs in the spot as of recording this video. And now the 90 minutes of SpongeBob in the mornings has been moved up from its long standing spot from 7 to 8 30 a.m. up half an hour to start at 6 30. So perhaps there's hope for the mornings after all. That's all like that. In recent months, Nick and Knight has been adding hours of SpongeBob to what would be its schedule, pushing back the night stirring episodes of Full House back a little. Even Henry Danger has had a Nick at Night branded airing. While this isn't the best way to go about it, it seems that Nickelodeon is expanding its hours later into the evening. Rumor has that Nick isn't sticking their own brand on their new time slots in order to keep the lower viewership later hours from denting their total day average ratings. Increasingly dumb reasoning now that its big three rivals can't even garner 750,000 viewers on premieres to save their lives. Now that the ratings gulf between Nick and Disney Channel, and especially Cartoon Network, is so wide, there's little excuse for why Nick at Night can't be condensed or canned outright. Especially when the block only generates what, 500,000 viewers? At worst, the shows can be moved to TV land. They're not doing much these days, and they're also on basic cables, so there's no concerns about viewer loss. Just promote the move well enough and you'll be fine. Nick at Night has really long outlived both its usefulness as a block and its reason to exist as a channel, given that so many other places deliver or can deliver the same shows to the same, if not greater, audiences. It's high time Nick tries something else to pad out the later evening and overnight hours. 
while many fingers would point to Nick Rewind, nay Nick Splat, as a block that would use such a theoretical promotion, the prevailing rule is Retro does not rate, so it's unclear whether that block could do any better than Nick at Night does right now. While it does relatively maximize Team Nick's ratings for the airtime, it's unclear whether that would scale if Nick even took that risk at all. If you like this video, go watch my video on Discovery Family, another channel that's really outdated. It's welcome. And don't forget to subscribe for more new commentary, analysis, and more every single week. I'm Benzie Johnson Jr., I'm enthusiastic about television, and I'll see you next time.